In today's video, we are going to talk about UGC. We are going to talk about how to source them in the best way possible. If you don't know what UGC is, it stands for user generated content. And they are those videos and photos you see online and they look very authentic. Like if a customer of yours have like taken the photo or filmed the video, they look very authentic and people believe them. That's why we are using them now heavily in our Facebook ads and our TikTok ads everywhere actually. If you are selling a product online, having videos within your marketing strategy is a must because people like videos, they expect them and they use them in order to understand the products more and in order to trust your products and your brand more and more. So if you are interested about creating amazing UGC for your brand and most importantly, if you are interested about knowing how to do this in a very effective way without losing money and time, watch this video because in this video, I'm going to show you the exact process I use with all of my clients and how we source UGC in a very smart and effective way. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to mention some mistakes that I highly recommend you to avoid. I have done these mistakes and they have cost me a lot of money and time and I don't want you to be doing these same mistakes. So make sure to watch this video up until the end. The first step in like creating a UGC strategy is to figure out from where you are going to get creators to create the content for you. So how you are going to find people who are suitable for your brand, who know about your product and who are willing to film themselves and most importantly, who can get it right. So the first thing that I recommend you to do is to start by yourself. Be your own content creator. And this is actually a very smart solution for any new e-commerce brand. Because if you are just starting out and you don't have enough budget to invest it on creators and on influencers, starting with yourself is the best way possible. And not only that, it makes your brand more authentic. I have worked with so many clients who have been the face of their brand for years and they are making a lot of sales out of that. There is nothing wrong at all with showing your face and with standing up for your business. I know that you might be shy, maybe you don't like to show your face, maybe this is something beyond your comfort zone, but remember, no one is born with the skill of filming themselves. It's a skill that you pick up over time and it's something easy when you get used to it and when you start actually practicing it. So I highly recommend you to start with this option if your business is very small and if you don't have enough budget. And even if you have budget, I always think that it's very practical to be your own content creator because it means that you can quickly jump on trends. You can quickly create videos when you need them instead of only uh, like contacting creators and sending on scripts and doing all of these, let's say, collaboration work. So your first option is to be your own content creator. Now, the second thing you can do in order to find good creators for your videos is to use platforms like Billo or B-Roll. Well, to be honest, I have never had a very good experience with these platforms. I don't like them, although they like make the process easier because they have the creators, they will get you the videos, they also sell bundles, so you can, for example, buy several videos at the same time. But I've never had a very good experience with these platforms and I don't like the quality of the videos and I don't like, like the interaction with the creators and that I don't think that when you work with these platforms, you actually have a lot of, let's say, control over the videos you will get. That's why I recommend you to try them out, but don't only rely on them. B-roll is even better than Billo because B-roll is more expensive and you have there, let's say, more space to make sure that your videos are better. What I recommend you to do is to try these platforms and see if they can work for you and for your business. Now, my favorite way to find creators is to actually source them, is to actually put the effort and time into researching them and finding them. What I usually do with all of my clients is that we create a list of all influencers and creators in our niche and we contact them personally. What we do is that we include in our list big influencers and small content creators. What we focus about the most is to have high quality videos and is to make sure that the creator or the influencer is very familiar with creating videos and having them in high quality. Well, you need to know the difference between an influencer and a creator. An influencer is someone with a large following on social media, like on Instagram or TikTok. And in this case, those influencers can be very expensive because in addition to creating the videos, they will be sharing them on their profiles and getting you maybe more followers and engagements. With the creators, it's different. You can find small creators with a very small number of followers and work with them 
them and they will be way less expensive and you can use these videos directly on your profiles or you can use them on your ads and so on if you are just starting out i highly recommend you to work with creators if you are going to use these videos to run ads or to maybe create more engagement on your social media profiles and later when you have more budget you can move on to working with influencers because they will cost you more be sure about that. When you are working with influencers and content creators, it's very important to make sure that you are creating a strong relationship, a strong connection with them. What you are aiming for is to have a list of influencers a list of creators that you are always working with. It's very hard to find good creators. You need to keep that in mind. So whenever you are working with a good creator, you need to keep them in house. That's why with this method, with sourcing influencers, contacting them personally, you can have this connection. You can have this type of relationship and you can nourish it and you can keep them within your business and you can keep them creating content for your business for years to come. Now, the final thing you can do in order to find creators is to use platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. I'm not sure if you are familiar with them, but those platforms are platforms that we can post jobs and add description to that job. So you can, for example, post a job asking for a creator to create a small video for your skincare product. Okay, and you provide information and so on. Working with these platforms is actually good because also it allows you to have a good communication with the creators and it allows you to create strong relationships that you can use in the future. It's very important to know that Fiverr is usually less expensive than Upwork. And over time, after working with the creator several times through Fiverr or Upwork, you can always ask the creator to work directly with you. And in this way, you will lower your fees because Upwork and Fiverr take a percentage out of the total amount and you will have a better communication with the creators. I've worked in the past so many times with Fiverr and Upwork and they are both very good. Usually Upwork is better with higher prices, but still I have found so many good creators on Fiverr as well. Before moving forward with our topic, I want to take one moment of your time to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and sustainable. I show you step by step how you can attract, convert and retain more customers. So if this is something you are interested about, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up. This workshop is totally free and you don't need to pay any dollar. And now let's get back to our topic. Now, regardless of how you decided to source your creators and regardless of how good the creators you are going to work with, unless you create a very clear brief about what you want them to create, about every single detail about the videos, the campaign, the marketing, the benefits of the products and so on, you will never get the results you are looking for. That's why the second thing that you should be doing after deciding how you are going to source your creators is to create a brief. And in this brief, you need to include all the information, every single piece of information a creator will need in order to be able to film the video and include the most important and relevant benefits and information within it. So in this brief, you need to include everything and I'm going to list some of the things that I always include in all of my briefs but you need to note that depending on the niche depending on the product depending on your brand you might need to include some additional stuff or maybe you need to remove some stuff so keep this in mind while you are preparing your own brief the first thing to include in your brief is your campaign objective you need to tell the creator why you are running this campaign and why you are using these videos so what products do you want to sell what are you offering and what are the benefits of the products why people should be buying them also you need to tell the creators about the target audience so if you are targeting for example mothers you need to tell the creator this because if she's a mom she will for example have maybe something related on the background maybe she will have the environment suitable for women or for moms and so on also you need to tell the creators what to wear and if they need to put makeup or not if they need to take care of their nails i'm not kidding this is very important because you don't want for example to have a video with uh, let's say and this has hap actually happened once we were creating a video for a skincare product and guess what the creator put the skincare product over the makeup and this is a very huge mistake that's why you need to tell the creators exactly what you want them to wear and how you want them to look so even you can for example ask them to wear a certain type of color to match your brand and so on it's also very important to add key messages that you want the creators to talk about the creators most probably don't know your product and don't know enough about your product that's why you need to tell them what they need to say i'm not saying don't leave them free 
I want you to leave them free. I want them to be as creative as possible, but still, I want them to know what are the type of benefits or information or specifications I want them to talk about. There are key messages that each brand wants to deliver. If, for example, you sell organic sensitive skin care, okay, you need them, for example, to mention the term organic. You need them to mention, for example, that your products are vegan. You need them to mention that your products are sustainable and so on. That's why you need to point out all the key messages about your product, about your brand, and you need to ask the creators to respect them and include them within the videos. Also, it's very important to tell the creators what are the video formats you want, if you want photos, if you don't want photos, if you want the videos with subtitles, without subtitles, and so on. Don't count on the idea that the creators already know what you want, tell them what you want. So if you want a 16 by 9 video, tell them that. If you want a square video, also tell them that. Always be very clear about what you are expecting to have out of this collaboration. Also be very clear about your brand guidelines. If there are things that you don't want the creators to say, you need to mention this. And also be very clear about your deadlines because you want to make sure that the creators are delivering the videos on time. And this is gonna be one of the biggest problems you are going to face. And this is actually one of the biggest problems I face whenever I'm working with new creators is that most of them don't respect the timeline. So don't worry, over time, when you have more and more experience, you will know who are the creators who respect time and deadlines and you will be only working with them. But while you are starting out, this is gonna be a problem. So keep it in mind, always allow yourself more margins when it comes to time so you know that you will be on the safe side. So mistake number one, if you have a certain script in mind, especially if you are running ads and if you have a special script in mind that you need the creators to follow, write the script and provide the script directly to the creator. This is the best way that you can assure that you are getting exactly what you want. In the past, I have thought that just by telling them, for example, I need a behind the scene or I need a get ready with me video, this is going to be enough. But no, it's not going to be enough. You need to provide the exact script. The second thing that you must do is to ask the creator very clearly to provide the highest video resolution ever. And not only that, ask them to provide the videos with and without music, with and without subtitles in a vertical dimension, so 16 by 9, and also on a square dimension for the feed placement if you are going to run ads. Why I'm asking them to provide the videos without music and with music? Because if they are using a music and it's not copyrighted, it means that you can't use it on your ads. So if you have a voiceover and the music, you can't get rid of the music anymore. That's why always ask for the video with and without music and with and without subtitles in case you need to use the clips in a different video. The final mistake you need to avoid and it's related to the environment where the video is filmed. Always ask your creators to shoot their videos in a clean environment. This means nothing distracting should be in the background. No dogs, no kids, nothing like, for example, things or, uh, for example, books on the table and stuff like that, unless they are related to the video topic. Also, it's very important to ask the creator to film their videos in a place where there are lights. So either it's natural light or maybe artificial lights, but it's very important to have very good lights within the video because this will make the video quality way, way better. So this is it for today's video. Sourcing UGC content is very important whether you are going to use this content for your ads or for your social media profiles. It's a process that it will take time and effort, but over time you will be able to have good connections with good creators and you will be able to make this uh, process way, way better and way, way more effective. That's why I highly recommend you to start now with sourcing creators and creating your brief and start making your own mistakes until you have this process working for your business and for your brand. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to smash the like button because by liking this video, you will help it to reach more and more people. And second, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified every time I publish a new video. Thank you again for watching this video and for staying up until the end. See you next week. Bye-bye.